Well, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S., and high blood pressure is one of the top risk factors. Yeah, proper nutrition, regular exercise can keep our hearts healthy, but some experts say the other secret weapon is dental hygiene. Joining us to talk more about the link between oral care and heart health is dental hygienist at Whitney DeFogio, also known on social media as Teeth Talk Girl. Thanks for being with us, Whitney. Thank you for having me. Hello. Well, so let's talk about it. How is exactly dental health related to our overall body's health? Right. So the connection between our dental health and our body's immune system or ability to fight disease or our overall or, over, overall oral health <laughs> but don't go, sir, is related to the oral systemic link. So the oral systemic link, I think it's very exciting information because not a lot of people are aware of it. There's actually a link between the health of your mouth and your overall body's health. And with knowing this, we know now that poor dental health can weaken the immune system since the mouth is the gateway to your entire body. And when it's infected, it could create a constant source of inflammation that can strain your immune system. Interesting. So what's the correlation between <laughs> like gum disease and heart disease? Yes. Yeah, so specifically with gum disease, it has been linked well, gum disease has been linked to several several health issues. Um, of course, heart disease, but also Alzheimer's. There's a bunch of different diseases, but since it's heart disease, it's time to talk about that. There is harmful bacteria in the mouth associated with gum disease, and this harmful or bad bacteria can enter the bloodstream and actually travel to other parts of the body, like your heart, due to the oral systemic link, causing inflammation and damage to organs and tissues. So gum disease really can increase your risk of heart disease. Well, so what are the signs you should look for that could indicate there's a problem? So sometimes nothing, and I know nobody wants to hear that, yeah. but unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately healthy gums sometimes won't show any visible signs. So that's a huge reason why visiting your dental office regularly is extremely important. So your gums are always being monitored for gum disease in the office. Um, but if there are any visible signs, sometimes there are. With gingivitis, you can oftentimes see um, bleeding gums, especially when flossing. Gums should not bleed when you floss. It's not normal. Also, redness when the gums are red, inflammation when the gums are puffy. All of those are signs that something may be wrong, right? But again, I can't stress enough that sometimes with gum disease, especially when it has progressed, the gums might not show any of those signs. So you have to visit your dental office to confirm. Interesting. All right. So you, you brush, you floss. Is there anything else you can do to keep your gums and teeth healthy? Yes, so of course, brushing and flossing, I know it sounds so simple, but like you said, it really is important to make sure you're using proper technique when you brush at least twice a day and floss at least once each day. I do have technique videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash teeth talk, because lots of people are unaware that they are flossing wrong. I didn't even floss properly until I was in dental hygiene school. So I always tell people don't feel bad if you're not sure if you're doing it right. It's never too late to learn. And speaking of flossing, if you don't like using traditional string floss for whatever reason, then just make sure you're using something to clean between your teeth, whether it's floss picks, interdental brushes, or water flossers. And then, of course, lastly, drink more water. I know everyone says it, it's good for your entire body. We know water is good, but it's especially good at washing away food from your teeth, lowering the contact time sugar and debris sure, has sure. on your teeth, right? Especially after lunch, like during the day when you can't brush. All right, Whitney, thank you so much. Certainly something smart to keep in mind, right, yeah. as you go forward. All right, well, for more oral health care tips, you can follow Whitney on TikTok and Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl.